Hi, my name is Greg, and I'm the pastor here at FBC Medford. Today is April 11, 2024. Welcome to today's FBC eConnect. Could you imagine a mechanic showing up for work at the shop and saying, in frustration, I'm so tired of getting here every day to only find cars that need repairs. For once, I'd like to get here and find only cars that work. Or what if the doctor arrived at the hospital to announce, what is going on here? Why is this place so full of sick people? I was hoping everyone here would be healthy today. Now, of course, that would be ridiculous. The point of a repair shop is to fix broken cars, and the point of the hospital is to provide treatment to people who are sick. And this is the perspective we need when reading a somewhat strange verse. It's 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 14. It says, For the unbelieving husband is made holy because of his wife, and the unbelieving wife is made holy because of her husband. Otherwise, your children would be unclean, but as it is, they are holy. The language is somewhat cryptic, but the meaning is straightforward. Some Christians live in homes where their spouse and their children are not yet believers. Some believers in that situation might find themselves wishing that things were different. The Apostle Paul, of course, understood that, but he called those Christians to a higher purpose. Through your influence, the non-believers in your life have a greater chance of finding hope in Jesus. Listen to what verse 16 says, For how do you know, wife, whether you will save your husband? Or how do you know, husband, whether you will save your wife? Paul acknowledges we don't know if others will respond to the gospel. However, we find ourselves fulfilling a crucial role in the kingdom of God by bringing the light of Jesus to dark places. Whether we think about our homes or our workplace, our extended family or our neighborhood, this principle applies to all of us. We might wish there was more light around us. We might wish the people around us shared our faith. However, God gives us purpose in those places to share the light of Jesus and the hope he gives through faith. I look forward to seeing you in church on Sunday. This week, during our time in the Word, we'll look at 1 Corinthians 7, verses 12 through 16. We'll see you then.